everyone. My name is Maki, and I've come all the way from Japan. My mission is to share the allure of my favorite Gundam series with you all. Today, I'll introduce a really cool mobile suit that appears in Gundam Wing. That would be this one here, the Taugi 2. It's a sibling of the Taugi, known for its striking white body. Its blue body is supremely cool. It made a very impressive showing in the latter part of the Gundam Wing storyline. Today I'll be talking about the charm of this Taugi, too. Are you ready? Let's get started with elegance. Let's start the rundown of Taugi, too. The Taugi is a blue mobile suit assembled from the spare parts of the Taugi designed for Zex. Used by Treats Kashuasia, the Supreme Commander of the World National Army, who came to represent Earth. The design is almost the same as the predecessor Taugi, but its face has a design closer to that of a Gundam. This is because Treats was impressed by the way the Gundam pilots lift their lips. Treats' his spirit of expressing his admiration so straightforwardly is also elegant, isn't it? And its body color has changed to blue. This blue signifies Treats' his intent to Sodi as the representative of Earth. It shows that while he cherishes his own feelings, he also respects his commitment to represent the Earth. The Taugi to played an active part in battles and shot down many enemy mobile suits, even though there were many high performance unmanned suits called Virgo 2 deployed on the battlefield. It didn't lose, however, it ultimately was defeated in a one on one fight with Wise Old Trangunum in the final stage of the battle. In fact, Treats encountered the Taugi in his boyhood when technicians described the Taugi as a high-performance machine that humans couldn't operate. Treats responded if I were the pilot, it wouldn't be impossible so cool. And so after a long time, the Taugi too was born to fulfill Treats' pure wish. This Taugi isn't a mere copy of the Taugi. Its performance has been boosted to compete with high performance among suits called mobile dolls. But remember, even the Taugi, a machine made for sex, was set to generate a gravity of 15 at maximum acceleration, which ordinary human bodies couldn't withstand. It's astonishing to think that this Taugi was further enhanced. Treats carries himself elegantly. But while showing this facade, he has also home skills that could rival his pilot sex. That's the basic info on the Taugi 2. If you want to learn more about this fabulous mobile suit, do check out Gundam Wing. Let's have a fun and easy chat about the equipment of the Taugi 2. First up, the Dover gown, which is attached to the white shoulder. It's an upgraded version of the equipment used by the mass-produced mobile suit called Rio. It's a heavy weapon that Rio needed to hold with both arms, but Taki can fire it with one arm. What's more, it can even aim while flying around at high speed. Its firepower is so strong that it can blow away multiple enemy mobile suits with a single shot. The enemy Vargo 2 has a strong barrier against gunfire, but with this Dover gun and treats its technique, they can easily be destroyed. The combination of powerful weaponry and an excellent pilot is so cool, isn't it in games? This weapon often has the ability to switch between solid bullets and beams. Next, the shield. It's a circular equipment attached to the left arm or shoulder that helps in defense. Simple yet effective when clashing with an enemy, the design is fabulous, matching the body color in blue. Then we have the beam saber. This one is mounted on the back of the shield for close combat. The same way it was used in a one-on-one -on -one fight, with wise old Trangunam is memorable. It's simple and standard but a cool weapon that suits streets is chivalrous spirit well. Lastly, the backpack bunny are a familiar piece of equipment from the original Togi. These are high output barriers attached to the shoulders, dramatically increasing flight speed. It's an equipment designed to force high speed maneuvering of the heavy armor and equipment laden suit. 
But be careful! This powerful equipment imposes a great burden on the pilot. The original Toki could generate up to 15 gills of gravity. That's like riding with a car going 100 kmh. Pilots have to endure this intense force. Those who are not suitable could break their ribs or damage their internal organs treats. Who elegantly controls such a dangerous suit is truly cool. That's all about the main equipment of Togi 2. They are simple but every one of them is powerful and never weak, even against a Gunnan. Let me explain the adventures of the Togi 2 to you. The Togi appears in episodes 46, 48 of the show. It doesn't have a ton of screen time, treats pilots it into a huge showdown. With White Fang, he challenges Sex, the leader of White Fang and pilot of the Gundam Epion, to a one-on-one -on -one duo. But he's rebuffed being told his way of thinking is outdated and then, as Treats is storming the enemy lines alone, the beam cannon of the massive battleship Libra comes at him. Treats is prepared to die, but he's saved by his loyal subordinate Lady. He's so moved by Lady risking her life to save him that he decides to fight to the end saying, A fight is beautiful precisely because we never give up until the very end. And from there, it's non-stop action with Treats' skill. He takes down multiple high-performance unmanned machines, the mobile dolls. He also engages in battle with the Ultron Gundam piloted by Y, who can be considered a rival throughout the story. Treats had once fought Y in person and had won decisively. Despite being up against the higher performing Ultron Gunnam, Treats manages to hold his own, and in the decisive moment, the Toki is pierced in the abdomen by the Ultron Gunnam's beam trident, and Treats falls while feels a deep regret. Believing that Treats lost on purpose in the novel version, there's a description of this scene. Treats was attacking with all his might to take down the Gunnam, and as a result, the Gunnam won. Treats wasn't holding back. Considering Treats is character, it's natural to interpret that he fought to the end in the spirit of chivalry. But why misunderstood? He thought he couldn't beat Treats. This misunderstanding impacts the story moving forward. But I'll explain that in a different lecture. In the great showdown with White Fang, he doesn't let enemies cross, and he fights one-on-one -on -one with Y, with whom he'd promised a rematch. They fight evenly but in the end, he's shot down by Y as he falls streets, calling Y his eternal friend leaves some final words behind. Despite only appearing three times throughout the animation, the Togi 2 leaves a lasting impression. Did you enjoy my explanation of the Togi, too? Seeing an outdated model perform so spectacularly in the story is truly cool, isn't it? The idea of a military commander-in-chief fighting on the front lines is unfathomable in reality, but the Togi, too, is so cool that you don't even think about it. As a side note, in the real world, it's said that the limit a skilled pilot wearing a G-suit can endure is thing for ordinary people. The limit seems to be around 6A. This gives you an idea of how powerful the Togi is 15 is of course. The technology in the world of Gundam is far more advanced than in our reality. I believe the Togi's cockpit is enhanced with incredible technology. But even so, the abilities of treats and sex are truly astonishing. There's an iconic pose of the Togi. It's when it thrusts the Dover gun into the ground and stands up gallantry. It's the pose in the scene when Zex, in his Gundam Epion, is challenged to a one-on-one -on -one duel. It's difficult to withstand 15, but it's very easy to mimic this pose. Why not try it right now using whatever tools you have at hand? Well, that wraps up my explanation for this time. But wait by pressing the subscribe button, you can become more elegant. And by hitting the like button, you can challenge yourself to withstand 15 of gravity. Do you have the courage to take on the challenge? I'd love to see your courage. So, take care, goodbye!